is referred to as the African Thunder. I, yes. She's called the Excavator. Yes. Because it is her place to help us discover who we are and how to live our best lives. Yes. She's a celebrated marine and aviation lawyer. Yes. She is the CEO of the Discovery Center and also executive director at the John Maxwell Leadership Team. Welcome, my coach, yes. our friend, yes. our sister. Yes. Mfon. Ego. Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Mfon Epo, the CEO of the Discovery Training and Development Center. It's surreal to be doing a tribute to Ubong, but we are. Ubong was many things to many people, but he was my brother, literally and figuratively. He adopted my mother, my mother adopted him, either way one person adopted the other, but all I knew was I just woke up one day and, and had a one kick as a member of my family, quite forcefully, he didn't give me a choice, um, but he would do great things like just gift people. You just wake up one day and he'd be like, oh, I just wanted to say hello. I'm sending you a cow. I'm like, uh, who, who sends a cow just to say hello? But he wanted to deconstruct what, what it was. He, he was stellar at giving people their flowers while they were alive. He was great at that. He didn't, the, the, there didn't need to be any cultural construct or customary construct for him to send you a cow. You're alive. You're worth it. I sent you a cow. And so he was, he was just this, he was light. And he was just like, you get a cow, you get a cow, everybody gets a cow. <laughs> um, he was a troublemaker, but a phenomenally positive one. And so I, I cried this morning watching him announce the theme for this year. Like it's Dare to Fly, Thinkation 2021, watch out. So we're here, I'm here speaking, maybe to try to communicate what he would have said if he were here on his theme, Dare to Fly. My friend and, and, and mentor, John Maxwell, often said, the world mass produces average. And that's a very, uh, that's a very key point. The world mass produces average. And I come to realize that people only become average because they choose to believe in certain restrictions or limitations. It's not that they want to be average, it's that their, their choice to believe in those restrictions or limitations create the, create the conditions for being average. Now, the, the thing about it is, what they don't understand is that restrictions are a product of narratives. Whether it's a cultural narrative, economic narrative, environmental narrative, a national narrative, you're only as restricted as the narrative you choose to believe. Why? Children are not born restricted. A child wants to fly off the ledge. A child wants to run into the road. A child wants to touch fire. Children do not know restrictions. We are taught restrictions. We are conditioned to believe that there's a certain thing, that certain mold we have to fit in, in who we, we can become, what we can do, what we can have. It's so average is a reflection of the narrative we chose to believe. Restrictions are a product of conditioning. Restrictions are a product of narratives. Now, those who dare need just one quality, courage. Courage to break through those restrictions. 
Courage to rewrite the restrictions, rewrite reality's restrictions, courage to defy the odds, courage to question assumptions, courage to refuse limitations, courage to believe you're something special, courage to believe that you're someone special, courage to think, to think, to think in a world that must produce its average, in a world where people choose to walk. The ones who change the world are the ones who have the courage to dare to fly. And the first time you try to fly, your wings may give up on you. The first time you try to fly, you may not get it right. But courage is a muscle that you build. The same way flight is a muscle that you build. We take flight through repetitive trial. And so, there's a quote by, by Martha Graham. She says, there's a vitality, a life force, an energy, a quickening that is translated through you into action. And because there's only one of you in all of time, this expression is unique. If you block it, it will never exist through any other medium. It will be lost. The world will not have it. So it is not your business to try to figure out how great this thing is. It's not your business to try and figure out how valuable it is or how it compares with other people's expressions. No, it is your business to keep it yours clearly and directly, to keep the channel open. And I'll add that it's your business to hone it and dare to gift the world with it. Every great idea, every dream must first be established with you and in you and you alone before it's established in the world. So there may come a time when only you believe it's going to happen. Do you have the courage to stand alone? Can you believe it even when no one else does? Myron Wilson said something in a quote that I think we all know, and I'll paraphrase that quote. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You're a child of God. Your plain small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We're all meant to shine. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our fear, our presence automatically liberates others. And as we dare to fly, we give others the gift of their wings. Who won't dare? Ubon dared. He dared to come out of corporate. He dared to speak to people about the power of thought. He dared to break tables and crush stereotypes. He dared. And because he dared, he gifted most of us our wings. The greatest legacy, the greatest honor that you can do his legacy in a world that mass produces average, in a world where most people choose to walk. The greatest honor you can do him is to dare to fly. So to the Thinkation family, you're unstoppable. Even more so now. To the kings, me and Ivy and the children, you have my heart and my hand always. To Ubong, Ubong Awo, our boy, you will always be our boy. And now we continue from where you stopped. Rest on.